Hello, welcome to another PC Addicts video demonstrating Clonezilla. Clonezilla allows you to do bare metal backups. Uh, what that means is basically making a, a complete image of the hard drive with the partitions and everything, being able to restore from that bare metal image or that bare metal uh, backup. Okay. Clonezilla has two editions. It's the live CD edition, which I'm familiar with, and then they also have an SE version, which is the server edition version. Supposedly allows you to simultaneously restore up to 40 machines or, or 40 plus machines at the same time. Clonezilla supports multiple file systems, uh, including ext 2 3, 4, um, NTFS, FAT. Well, without any further ado, let's let's get started. Okay, we're back here. You can use, I'm going to back up this old Toshiba laptop here to this external hard drive via USB cable. Now, this is an old laptop, so it doesn't have USB 2.0 and uh, it's fairly slow to back up or to copy large amounts of data. So I'll fast forward a little bit, but okay, I'm gonna take my burnt Clonezilla disk set. This is one I burnt a while back. Okay, so here's our interface. We're gonna select the default settings here. Okay, now we're at the start here. Basically, which language do you want? And of course, we're gonna do English. Okay, I'm not gonna touch the key map. All right, it's asking, um, do you want a login shell or do you want to start Clonezilla? I wanna start Clonezilla. Now this one's, the next prompt here is saying, device image work with disk or partitions using images or the device to device work directly from a disk or partition to a disk or partition. What we're gonna do is the first one, a device image. Um, and the next prompt here is asking, where do you want to store your backup? I want to store it to this external drive that's here. So I'm just going to select the first one, the local device. Hit enter. Now at the bottom here it says, if you want to use a USB device as a Clonezilla image repository, please insert the USB device into the machine now. So I'm going to find a USB port. And as soon as I plug it in, says give five seconds and then hit the enter key. See, I'm not even, I haven't even hit anything yet. It's recognizing that a new device, the USB device, was plugged in. So now I'm, I think it's safe. I'm going to go ahead and, well, no, it's still doing its thing. But now I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now we need to mount a device as home part image. There's one thing, too, on your external device. You want to make sure that you have a directory in the root that you want to use. You can't, it won't um, traverse down to a subdirectory, as far as I'm aware. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know. Okay, all right. Um, the HDA1 is the Toshiba hard drive. This SDA1 is the external USB drive. So I'm going to select that. Um, it went ahead and mounted it properly here. Now, once it's mounted, it's going to show you the directories that are on the root of the drive. Um, and you, you can't go down into subdirectories. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go into this backups. Now, you know what? I'm going to try the root. Let's try just putting in the root. I'm going to hit OK. Basically, it's showing you the file system that they've been used. OK, I don't really care. Let's just see. Hopefully, i got enough space. All right. Choose the mode to run the following wizard about advanced properties. I'm going to do just beginner. All right. Um, what do you want to do? It's asking. Or the, uh, da, 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 da. Save local disk as an image. That's what I want to do, I don't, uh, which is the entire disk. So even if I have partitions on there and everything, so I'm just going to hit OK. Here you want to name it. Um, it's already defaulted with the date. Um, and let's just add something on there. Toshiba. Hit OK. All right. And choose local disk as a source. The disk name is a device name. Um, as a source is HDA1, which is the 40 gig on the Toshiba laptop. So we're going to hit OK. Down here, um, it's just saying it saved a script that you can run, or uh, a command line. It's giving you a command line if you want to just script it next time, make it quicker and faster if it's a regular thing. We're just going to hit enter to continue. And it's saying, are you sure you want to continue? And this is basically saying uh, machine HDA1, or HDA to HDA1 to that part image mount. And we're just going to hit yes. Okay, and 
So it begins. Checking the disc fit for, uh, for space. Okay. So this may take a little bit of time, a little bit longer than it normally would because it is a very slow laptop, very slow USB connection. So what we'll go ahead and do is just, um, that was the, the basic of it. Once it's done, it's just going to say completed. And if you wanted to restore, you just basically go through the same process, except one of the steps you're going to say you don't want to make a disk image, you want to restore. So and you just plug in your device and point to that restore image or whichever image you want to restore back to. Hit OK, and it'll do the same thing it's doing now, except it'll re-image it. And um, I don't want to wait around for this one because it's going to take a little while. It's so slow. So I suggest trying it out. It's it's a fairly good quick, easy, simple way to make uh, disk images, and I've used it. I'll swear by it. It works, worked good for me. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments down below if you have anything to add. Don't forget to visit PCX.com. Join up in the chat.